What is the CCDC? It is the stands for the Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition, and it is a competition unique in that it focuses on the operational aspects of managing a fictitious business network. So what we do is for three days every year we bring together teams from two and four year schools that comprise undergraduate and graduate students and they assume responsibility for this fictitious company network. This year's company is called Trainer Corp. And, you know, it's a world leader in the delivery of online courses. Welcome to Trainer Corp. Uh, generally speaking, the IT staff has been let go piecemeal over about the past three to four weeks. Uh, you've assumed their work such that it is. What's in the other room, uh, replicated four times, is a complete, fully functional, standalone company. So this isn't simulation. We're not mimicking or mocking up anything. What each team is responsible for is what a real corporation would be for on the outside. So from the technical perspective, there's uh, primary and secondary domain name servers. There's a corporate email server. There is a corporate domain server with uh, 10,000 user credentials that is mapped to 10,000 email accounts, all fully functioning. There's actually a fully functioning phone system. So all the phones work, each team can call between teams, the teams can call up to exercise control. Uh, you could unplug any one of these teams from in there, put them on the internet, and they'll work just fine. Uh, we work for nobody, we will not relay anything to the red cell, or we will not relay anything back from you to the red cell, or vice versa. We will not relay anything from the red cell to you. Our job is to make sure the exercise runs and runs smoothly. If a virtual machine needs to be restored from backup, I'm the guy to do it, nobody else. Students don't actually build the network ahead of time. They assume responsibility of a network that's already been set up. And two, it's defense only. So they don't actually get to try to hack into other systems. And then generally what happens over the course of the three days is, is the students try to keep their business services and servers up and running, and they have to protect their systems against a group of volunteer hackers, what we call the red team, and then they have to complete what we call business injects, which are day-to-day -day system administrator responsibilities. And the, the general idea is that at the end of the competition, the team that does the best job in those three areas wins. You do get basically um, about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. That's uh, plus or minus 15 minutes on either side of no scoring bot and or red cell activity. So you do get a grace period there at which point we start the scoring engine, we turn the red cell loose. So my job is pretty much uh, design the exercise, build as much of it as Casey would like us to. Uh, and then right now, now the exercise has started, we're kind of exercise control. We keep things moving and progressing. We help troubleshooting errors that are just no one's fault. It's just, you know, um, ghosts in the machine, as it were. And so while I just kind of keep things moving and troubleshooting, Dwight's job right now is managing the scores. So we also run our own custom scoring engine uh, that tracks student performance, attracts team performance, and also tracks the red cell. So right now we're pretty much, all of our heavy work has been done the last three to five weeks and right now we're just in an exercise run mode, which is simply ride herd on the teams, ride herd on the infrastructure, and score. Uh, this is Mr. Paul Curry. He is your CEO. I expect you to treat him as such, okay? I think it's vital for their careers to understand how IT impacts the business. It's now? Um, we're working on getting it back up. How long has it been down? Um, at least an hour. I'm not sure the exact time we're actually looking at it right now. It's not just fixing the computer or making sure that the data is secure or that everybody can log in or that I have my email address. We have a thousand customers online at any one time. So 20 minutes is critical, they're off. Okay. So in 20 minutes, the system will be back up. Will you report back to me in 20 minutes? Yes, sir. They're working for a larger purpose. Whatever the business model is, the business is trying to make money. Even if it's a nonprofit, they're still trying to make money and have objectives. So he has 20 minutes to get back to me with the system up and running. That's a dangerous promise to make, by the way. Last year was the first time I was involved with uh, this event, and it was a great experience for the first time. This year it seems to have gone up one level. It just seems to have improved. I just think it is the, the key element for any student in this arena to get real hands-on experience, to understand what they're doing, to work within a team, 
and to get real live issues resolved. I just see it continuing to grow. You have an exchange server that is set up for Web Outlook, Web Access. Better make sure it's working. All right? You have a wireless access point to allow mobile clients to get access to your network and check email. Better make sure it's working. You got an Agios box that generates nice, pretty charts and graphs of uptime. You better make sure it's working, and I really hope your numbers look good.